All right, now let's take a look at what I'm going to do. I, I like to use sap green as my base. You see it's real dark and a real nice color. Unfortunately, it's real expensive when you get artist grade. Student grade's not expensive and you can get the same color out of it. It's just the paint is a lot stickier. Okay, now remember I said with our green, if you tap this in with a little bit of need a little more white there so we can see the difference. There's the green that you get, just plain green. Now if I take a little bit of this and get three piles out of it. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little bit of cerulean to this. Pile. Let's add some cadmium red light to this pile. Probably got a little, we got too much there. That cadmium will just totally take over your green there. So I got a little bit too much. That's about right. And then a little bit of yellow into this green. Now I'll put some white with it and get back into the center here. And I'll put it over here. You can I probably needs a little more blue in it. There we go. Now that starts to lean towards turquoise, you know, half blue, half green. You can see that green. And then the green with the The red in it, you can see it really becomes that blunt like army green. It starts to neutralize. I'm not quite sure if you can see the differences in the camera there. But then what you can also do is what I did with the blue. Now there's a little bit sharper green. You put a little bit of... Once you mix the white in, remember white makes your colors cooler. It also blends them out a little bit too. So after you add white, I like to add a little bit of the color that I wanted in there. See, that's really neutralizing this green here with the red. And then you add, and then after you mix, then you can the white and again add your color that you're in. Now you can really see the differences. The yellow green, the neutral green with the red, and the blue and turquoise green.